everybody. This uh, video is going out to the kids in the pawpaw room. Um, I just want to say that I miss you guys and I wish we could all be together. Um, I am making this video with the help of Christian and um, I hope that this um, book that I'm about to read finds you well and spending time with your family and um, and hopefully we will all be able to see each other in some way soon. So even if it's a, a virtual um, hello, okay? So this book is one of my favorites, an oldie but a goodie. It's called A Friend is Someone Who Likes You and it's by Joan Englund. A friend is someone who likes you. It can be a boy, it can be a girl, or a cat, or a dog, or even a white mouse. A tree can be a different kind of friend. It doesn't talk to you, but you know it likes you because it gives you apples or pears or cherries or sometimes a place to swing. A brook can be a friend in a special way. It talks to you with splashy gurgles. It cools your toes and lets you sit quietly beside it when you don't feel like speaking. The wind can be a friend too. It sings soft songs to you at night when you are sleepy and feeling alone. Sometimes it calls to you to play. It pushes you from behind as you walk and makes the leaves dance for you. It is always with you wherever you go and that's how you know it likes you. Sometimes you don't know who are your friends. Sometimes they are there all the time. You walk right past them and don't notice that they like you in a special way. And then you think you don't have any friends. Then you must stop hurrying and rushing so fast. And move very slowly and look around carefully to see someone who smiles at you in a special way or a dog that wags its tail extra hard whenever you are near. Or a tree that lets you climb it easily or a brook that lets you be quiet when you want to be quiet. Sometimes you have to find your friend. Some people have lots and lots of friends. Some people have quite a few friends. But everyone, everyone in the whole world has at least one friend. Where did you find yours? I remember my mom used to read this story to me. And the original copy that we had, it's I'm not quite sure where it is, but then I did find this copy at a, um, a library sale. Um, so think about that. How are some ways that you, that you can connect with your friends right now? I know that some people um, might be talking on the phone. Some people might be doing things like Skype. Um, I have received a few letters from some people in the mail. And I am going to sit down tonight and write a few letters to some friends. Um, so maybe you would like to try doing that to keep in touch. So I just wanted to share that with you. And I hope, I hope you're doing well and know that I'm thinking about you guys. And I hope to see you soon. All right? All right. Bye.